Now, before we start this journey together, it's important you understand. I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't be offended. Don't be angry at me. Be angry at your mum and dad for raising you a wuss. Ta-da! Do you know who the man in the video is? I do not. No. His name is Anton Casey. Does his name sound familiar to you? No, shouldn't. <laughs> He's some like banker guy who was showing off his money, and uh, like it went, it blew up on Facebook. He's a British guy who made some comments about Singaporean um, public transport recently. He is a British expat who used to be the senior wealth manager of Cross Invest Asia, and he recently posted these comments on to his Facebook account. I'll give you a moment to read it. Oh, I saw this. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what happened after he posted these comments? Uh, he got fired from his job. He left the country because some Singaporeans were angry about him calling people who take public transport poor. Oh, people were really offended, right? Because he's just saying that people who ride the MRT are poor. After making these comments, he was fired from his job and he got death threats from Singaporeans, which resulted in him having to flee to Australia. So he no longer lives in Singapore. Do you think these comments are offensive or do you think that the Singaporeans were overreacting? They are offensive, but I mean, it's his opinion. Even though it's really bad, uh, it's his opinion, so I don't think they should send him death threats, but they can be mad at him, for sure. He got fired from his job here? Wow. I think kind of a bit of both. Like, he shouldn't have been posting that in the first place, but sending him death threats is a little bit oversensitive. I don't think the death threats were called for. I think that's definitely an overreaction. The man doesn't deserve to be killed or, well, nobody does. So I think the Singaporeans have a right to be angry, though. That's, the stuff he said is definitely very offensive. I would say these are pretty offensive. Um, he's blatantly showing off that he has money when obviously people are less fortunate. Well, I think like in a country like Singapore, posting something like this is obviously going to have really harsh repercussions just because it's the government is um, very like repressive of bad press against the country. And so it's probably not the best idea to do this. As an expat, what do you think this case does to our reputation in Singapore? I think it's a fairly isolated case. So since we've been, since expats have been here for so long, I don't think Singaporeans will think that all expats are bad, but I think this man has done some damage. It makes us seem very snobby, even though most of us aren't like that. Because some of the Singaporeans don't like the expats as is, but then I think what he said makes it a lot worse. Really, not everyone is like that, and so it kind of gives expats a, a bad face. Do you think SAS students have a bad reputation in Singapore? Uh, no, not really. I think yes, but it's only like a couple of people. I wouldn't say the majority of SAS students do this kind of stuff. Well, most international school kids probably have the same reputation um, that like expat kids are rich brats, but it's, I think it's a misconception and not like, as you know, most kids here aren't like that. I think so. I think definitely within Woodlands we do. I've seen a lot of videos online complaining about our buses in the morning and traffic and honking. So I think a little, yeah.